Hi, this is Cameron. I'm one of the educators with the Chesapeake Bay Foundation. Today I am at Black's Run in Purcell Park in Harrisonburg, Virginia. So the water here at Black's Run is slowly making its way towards the Chesapeake Bay. We are many miles from there at this point, but eventually our water here will end up in the Chesapeake Bay. Today we are taking a look at what some of our impacts some of the things that impact our water here, um, not only in Black's Run, but other creeks across the watershed. Instead of focusing on all of the impacts, today I'm going to focus on sediment pollution and what, how that affects um, creeks like Black's Run. So the one question we have to answer is why is sediment a problem? So we're gonna take a look at this jar of water that I have. And when we put in a little bit of sediment, a little bit of sediment in here, it doesn't change the quality of this water very much. Just a little bit. So that's a natural amount of dirt sediment getting into the water. However, due to human activity um, all around the watershed, it affects our streams and it puts a lot more sediment into the Chesapeake Bay watershed than is necessary. So you can see there's quite a big difference between a little bit of sediment and a lot of sediment. When you have all this sediment in the water, it blocks sunlight from being able to get to the bottom, which means that things like grasses and algae can't grow any longer. It can also bury some of our critters on the bottom, like out in the Chesapeake Bay, we have the oysters, um, so they would be getting buried underneath. So now we're going to take a look at the sediment in Black's Run. We're going to determine what the turbidity of the water is. So turbidity is the clarity of water, how clear the water is. So I'm gonna use this, this is called a turbidity tube. I'm gonna fill it all the way to the top with water. And on this tube, I'm gonna let water out and we'll start to see the water drop here. And I will stop it as soon as I can see the black and white circle at the bottom here. So normally when I look down, I can see that circle when I fill it up with dark water, I will not be able to see it, so I have to let that water out. So before I take this test, I want you to predict how far do you think um, I'll be able to see down. So this test goes up to 120 centimeters or um, 46 inches, a little less, about four feet. So do you think we'll be able to see four feet through this water? Or will we be somewhere underneath, lower? So I'm filling up the tube all the way to the very top. I'm covering my thumb over the tube. And now I'm going to look into the tube and let it out until I can see the Secchi disc symbol at the bottom the black and white stripes. And I can actually see the black and white circle at the bottom right now. And it's all the way up here at 43 inches or 112 centimeters. What we like to see in the Chesapeake Bay is to be able to see about 150 centimeters or five feet down. So this is very good quality water, very clear. So there is not a lot of sediment in Black's Run. So based on our test results with our turbidity tube today, Black's Run does not have much of an issue with sediment pollution. So based on what you can see, brainstorm some ideas of why we don't have as much of an issue with sediment here on Black's Run. Black's Run has decent water quality, as we determined because of tree plantings that have happened out here at Purcell Park. They create a nice riparian buffer zone 
which the roots can hold soil a lot easier than there being no trees. There also is some permeable sidewalks that also la allows water to penetrate into the ground much more easily than an impermeable surface like a parking lot. Um, so it slows down the speed of rainwater and reduces erosion. Thanks for joining me out here at Black's Run. I encourage you to check out your own neighborhoods in your free time.